Well, tonight, a cat owner is fighting to stop an adoption after she says her local Humane Society put up her lost cat for adoption. The organization says they simply followed their policy after the cat went unclaimed for days. Fox 13's Jordan Bowen sat down with the owner and the Humane Society to learn this all could have been avoided. After missing for three weeks, this five-year-old purebred Cornish Rex cat named Donna has now been found. The first thing that came to my mind is, thank God she's alive. That was the most important thing to me. Charlene High, Donna's owner since birth, says Donna had just had a litter of two kittens back in February when she went missing. At the time, High says a repairman was installing a handicap ramp inside their home for her husband when she noticed Donna was missing. The fact that she got out made me irresponsible. The fact that she might have been dead broke my heart. And to know that her two babies needed her. Immediately, High posted about it on Facebook, called area shelters, and tried looking for her, but had no luck. Sunday, she learned through social media Donna may have been found. But when she called the Humane Society of Highlands County, they informed her the cat had already been adopted out to a new home. We're not out to prevent people from getting their animals back. We love to reunite animals and families. As Judy Spiegel with the Humane Society of Highlands County explains, every animal brought in is held for five days to allow any previous owners to call and claim their pet before they're put up for adoption. In Donna's case, the waiting period expired Thursday. She was put up for adoption and adopted Saturday by a family in New York. I also want the new owners to know that she was not discarded. She was not put outside. She was not neglected. She was very much loved and um, that I would do anything to get her back. High has offered to pay the $400 adoption fee as well as offered up one of Donna's kittens to the family in place of her. But the Humane Society is sticking by their policy. It's a county ordinance. They set the rules of how you do adoptions. We would, we would lose our 501c3 if we didn't follow the laws. Spiegel says Donna did have a microchip, but the phone number connected was not up to date. Had it been, Donna may be back with High. It's why both Spiegel and High want to remind pet owners to have their pets microchipped and to make sure the information is up to date. Reporting in Highlands County, Jordan Bowen, Fox 13 News.